So my name is Harry. I'm uh, 25 years old and I'm from Scotland and I'm training out of Vietnam Top Team. I'm just coming off the back of a victory at Lion Championship 06. So we've just, uh, I took a week off and since I've come back we've just maintained the intensity from last camp. So training two or three times per day. Uh, as well as trying to add one or two new things to my game in preparation for my upcoming fight uh, to deal with the opponent specifically. Uh, I did a little but I can't find anything. Uh, I know that he used to train here. Uh, I know that he fights orthodox and I know that he's shorter than me but apart from this uh, we don't know too much so the focus this camp has been on what can I do to uh, improve my game, what skills can I add uh, to my arsenal that suits the body type that I will be facing. Well, uh, all going well, I win uh, this month. Um, I will then move from the B class to the A class. Uh, I anticipate taking some time off after my fight just to, to give myself an opportunity to um, really add some new tools to my game. Um, I've been in camp more or less since uh, Tech Holiday, um, so it will be nice to get back to being a martial artist as opposed to a fighter. Every day I'm learning something new, etc, etc. Uh, but then my plan is to take fights when people want them and make my way up the rankings. Uh, I'm not in this for fun, I'm in this for championship gold. So that's what I'm setting my sights on. I think it's, first of all, I'll speak about the, the scale of the events. For this sport to be put on national television is really quite something. This doesn't really exist in the UK. It's all behind pay-per-view walls and such like that. So to try and expose this sport to as many people as possible, I really appreciate it. I think that's really cool. Also, the quality of the events themselves, from the venues to the equipment, to the cage, to the referees, I really think is top quality. Technically speaking, I still am an amateur, but my fights are recorded. The whole setup is very professional. When it comes to the skill level of the fighters, I think it's still relative to other regions in the world, for example, where I'm from, the UK, where mixed martial arts is extremely popular. I do think that Vietnam still has uh, a way to go, uh, but with uh, this amount of push behind it, with access to uh, organizations in this country and uh, in the countries nearby, then I, I don't think it will be too long before uh, the quality of fighter in Vietnam and, uh, can match that at the elite level, at the world class level. Perfect, is that everything? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.